and you release it. And as the child sleeps, something happens. It's the prophetic. Or it could be on a wider level where you say, hey, and you can link up with the prophetic company and say, I see us doing this. I don't understand it, but I see it in the spirit. And as you do it in the spirit, there's an echo. There's an echo that signals great triumph for the advance for the kingdom. I know Phil operates in it. I know Maureen operates in it. And I want to ask them to release it to you. Now I just want to say this. Check the word out. Bounce it off others that are prophetic also. Cover yourself in the blood and all that stuff. That's why you don't need to be alone. But I'm going to ask Phil and Maureen to just release that grace on us. Anybody here, you've been on a prophetic action before like that. Something prompted in your spirit. Amen. It can be so sweet. It can be so powerful. Is that all right, Phil? Just, just release that grace to us. So, you know, just, just, if you want it, just, just stand and just, 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 just be in a posture. You know, if you don't, even if you don't stand, just be in a posture just to see it. Father, we just uh, want to say sorry to you uh, for the times when you have spoken to us, when you've given us a little nudge to go and do something that feels absolutely stupid or it feels impossible or because of our own embarrassment, we haven't done it. And Father, today, in your presence, Father, we say, Father, we... We surrender our lives to you. We surrender ourselves to you. Father, we commit to doing the things you ask of us. So, Father, we just ask that in your mercy, in your grace, that you will speak to us. We make ourselves available, Father, to you. Father, we, we love the prophetic actions of what we long for as the reality is the fulfillment of them. Well, it was great doing the giving out roses in London and this prophetic thing about releasing the saints in the city. But Father, what we really long for is the real, is the release of the coming fulfillment of that, Father. It's the whole army of young people in our cities. Father, that are going out being good news. That are carrying the presence. Carrying your presence. Carrying your love, demonstrating your love and your power in our community. Father, Father, we make ourselves available to you. We make ourselves available to you. Thank you. I hear his voice say today, my army is not measured by its size, but its obedience. I'm calling you to a place of obedience. Then you usher in the great prophetic revival that England has ever seen. Yes. You are a great army of God. Oh, Your hearts are right. This is just preparation. Obedience. Submission to the prophetic voice. To get direction from the master. I'm releasing a power that man has ever seen. But it is the power of humility, the power of obedience. I'm releasing the unknown, the uncelebrated, the nobodies to raise an end time army for myself. Unknown people from unknown churches, unknown places, unknown, 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 releasing a great work of God. And their power is in their obedience. Oh. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Oh. An end time voice. The hand of the Lord is upon you. 
Oh. Oh. He says, I'm calling people who are not known by their qualifications, who are not known by their work, but they'll be known by their humility and their obedience. They'll do everything I ask them to do. And the Lord is saying to someone here, don't worry about resources. I'll send you to places you have never been before. And I'll provide. <laughs> On Saturday, I saw the gate open. And it was getting narrower. And the Lord said, the heavens are open. But only a few will make it. <laughs> only a few, a remnant, will make it. I pray that you'll be part of the remnant. Oh. But the heavens are open right here. Yeah. Be part of the remnant. Enter the narrow gate. Allow yourself to walk through the narrow way. Revival has come. And you are the vessels God will use. This is training ground. You are being brought here. It's God who brought you here. You didn't bring yourself. The Lord has brought you here. He's handpicking his end time maidens. Oh. Praise the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh. 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 It's a great honor and privilege to uh, um, it's a great honor and privilege to have uh, John Shiver here with us. Um, he's brought some of his books. We were on the phone, and he said some places he goes, nobody buys books. So I told him we're readers. I told him we read here, yes. So there are 10 pounds each that are available in the bookshop. Um, I want to just, I want to quickly take up an half point. Uh, Niamh just play that song, and then uh, John's going to come and minister to us. I give myself away. Hallelujah. We, we, we love to receive offerings, uh, not collect offerings. As we sing this song, um, thank you for partnering with us for hosting this conference. I give myself away so you can come on let him know I give myself away I give myself away so you 